Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Bianca from The Trick Takers here with another unboxing video. Today I'm unboxing Everdell. So Everdell is a game that I haven't personally played yet, but there's been a lot of hype around it. Everyone who I've talked to about it tells me that if I love Wingspan, then I'll love Everdell. So I'm really excited to give this a try. There's also a huge list of awards on the box here. So there's a lot of hype. Let's see if it lives up to it. All right, got my trusty scissors here. I'm gonna carefully unbox this. So first of all, just to talk about first impressions of the box. I mean, it's gorgeous. It looks like a storybook. I like that already. And it has a nice feel to it. Nice sturdy box. It has a nice matte finish. And then let's flip the box over. And I've said this in other unboxing videos, but I do like when they show the game on the back of the box so that you have an idea of what you're buying. So they do that, they do that well. Everything's kind of laid out here. It looks like, you know, how the game would be set up. So great. Uh, and then it also says that the game is for one to four players. It's for ages 10 and up and it takes 40 to 80 minutes to play. All right, let's actually open the box, shall we? Okay, so. Here we are, it looks like the first thing that we've come to is the rules of play. So here's the manual, it feels pretty good quality. And it is 22 pages long, so this is definitely a more complex game. I'll just page through the rule book real quick for you so you can get a sense of what it looks like and uh, some of the game setup. It looks like the manual is actually pretty well illustrated as well. There's like little pictures and maybe kind of giving you a little bit of an introduction to some of the characters, which is kind of cool. Just kind of setting the scene for the game. Awesome, so that's the manual. I'll put that aside here. And then what is this? This is just a catalog of some of the publisher's games. I'll put that aside as well. And then there's some directions for assembling the tree. So it doesn't look too bad. There's three steps, that's not terrible. So um, we'll come back to that in a little bit. And then it looks like this is the board. Cool. It's a circular board. Here you go. That's what the board looks like. Cool. And then we have some of the punch out pieces here. So, oh. all right. So this is definitely part of the tree and um, some other pieces. There's like a tent here, some little, little carts, a uh, boat. And then more tree parts, which we'll come back to yet again. <laughs> and then more trunk parts for the tree. Yeah, so there's not like a ton of punch outs for this game. It looks like it's mostly just tree pieces, some coins, some other little elements. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely come back to the tree. I'm probably gonna put that together for you guys before this video is over. But anyway, below those, we have kind of a tray in the box now that holds all the different components, which I think this looks pretty nice. I mean, I haven't actually opened everything yet, so it's hard to really tell exactly how everything's gonna fit in here, but it seems like it shouldn't be an issue. Everything has its place. Yeah, I like the tray. And then there's some cards here. These are some little cards. It says a brilliant marketing plan on them. 
I'm gonna open these. Okay, so this one says, Capture of the Acorn Thieves. Ancient scrolls discovered. An evening of fireworks. So these are all just little, I don't know if these are some kind of event cards or how these really work in the game, but they do seem very high quality. They have kind of a little bit of a matte finish. Um, I like that because they shuffle well. Uh, there's the back of them. Looks like they kind of have a tree print on the back. So very consistent with the overall theme of the game. And then we have the bigger cards here. This is a pretty big deck. I think this is kind of the cards you use to build your engine. So I'm gonna unwrap these. All right. Yes. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Look at this artwork. All of the different animals have so much character. I love this. Yeah, so all of these cards look awesome. They have the same matte finish as the smaller ones, and all the artwork is very colorful, whimsical, has kind of a fantasy feel to it. Like I said about the box, kind of, you know, a, a children's book illustration kind of style. Put these back here. And then we have some other pieces. These look like some little uh, stones of some kind. I think these are a resource, one of the resources in the game. So we have these. Uh, and then I'm going to take these out, actually, because these look really neat. I don't know if these are supposed to be berries, I think. They look like berries, so I think these are more resources uh, for the game. So I'm just going to take a couple of them. Ooh, they feel very solid, uh, kind of rubbery, but good quality. And then what else? What is this? Like Sticks? This looks like sticks, I don't know. <laughs> it's probably just another resource uh, in the game. Like I said, I haven't played this game yet, but um, I'm assuming, I think there's some resources involved. Yeah, these seem like little, little pieces, little brown stick type pieces made out of wood. Again, good quality. And then we have these little stones. It's funny because they kind of sound like stones, just like shaking them around. <laughs> and if I take them out, let's see how they are. Okay, so I got three of them out of the bag here and they do feel very smooth, very good quality. Okay, so what's next? There are these little meeples. Oh, these are so cute. They're like little animals. They're all different. So here's um, a squirrel. This is what the squirrel piece looks like. And then we have, and then we have this little mouse thing. All of these feel very good. They don't feel like they're gonna, you know fragile or anything. I think this is a hedgehog. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I love it. It's little meeples. And there's this little blue guy. What is this? Okay, I have no idea what this guy is. <laughs> I like the color, but I don't know what this animal is, so I'll have to see what he is in the instructions. But yeah, this is another meeple. That's all the different types, I think. So yeah, you got a squirrel, a mouse, a hedgehog, and some other mystery creature. And then a few extra Ziploc bags, which is good. And then it looks like a dice. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. Now, let's build this tree, okay? And I'll let you know how hard it is to put this thing together. Okay, so I have everything I need to build the tree. I, put, I even put the board out just to kind of get the full effect. And uh, I have the assembly instructions for the tree and all the punch out pieces. So let's get started, shall we?
Okay, so here it is. This is the finished tree. Now, I will say it's a little tricky getting the top uh, platform part on. I had to kind of like shimmy it on instead of just putting it on straight. And I think, you know, it is cardboard. It is thick cardboard, so it does seem good quality, but you know, I could see this kind of getting worn out if you take it apart and put it back together enough times. So if you're the kind of person that likes to upgrade your game components, you might want to check out Etsy, see if there's any, like, see if anyone made any wooden trees or anything like that. But it is pretty neat, I will say. It does add a unique element to the game that I haven't seen before. Overall, I'd say the components in this game are super solid. The cardboard feels high quality, the cards have a nice linen texture, and even the artwork really delivers. I feel like it's telling a story and I haven't even started playing this game yet. I'm really excited to give it a try. As soon as we do, we'll make a review video to let you know what we think. We release new videos every other Thursday, so be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to get notified when our next video drops. That's it for now gamers. Trick Takers, out.